Hi Piscean, welcome back to my channel. This is your next 48. This is episode 11 and 12 for Piscean, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. All right, Piscean, let's see. What are the messages for Piscean, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node? Messages, please. Yeah, we have the Hierophant, okay? So rules, restrictions, regulations, religion. All right, you could be dealing with a Tauren, but I feel like something is going to be made right. Someone's going to do the right thing here. I'm getting someone's going to follow the rules. I'm getting you've been following the rules. You've been following regulation, restrictions, guidelines. I'm getting you follow policy. All right, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, we have the Empress. So I'm getting a payout. All right, I'm also getting a long-term relationship here, definitely with an earth sign, a Taurin. Okay, I'm, I'm definitely getting a Taurin is involved. We have the death card. Yeah, something, I'm getting a relationship is changing between you and a Taurin here. I'm getting long-term marriage. All right, definitely. I was not expecting this. Okay, we have the king of cups. We have the ten of swords and we have the magician. Yeah, so I'm getting, I'm getting... Something is ending and something new is beginning. I'm getting somebody is finally divorced. Something is finalized. I'm also getting to a very expensive divorce. But I, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting a payout. If you've been waiting on money or if money is owed to you, I'm getting that money is going to come. That money is going to come to you. It's almost like somebody, somebody took your money and ran or somebody took your money and they stopped speaking to you. Or you've been waiting on this money. I'm getting you had to let something go. Somebody could have taken your money. There was nothing you could do about it. You had to let it go. But I'm getting that's going to be resolved. Action is going to be taken here. I'm definitely getting a marriage. All right, I'm also, I'm also, I'm also getting to you are vowing never to do something. I promise to never lie, you, lie to you again. I promise not to cheat on you anymore. I promise not to stab you in the back anymore. I love you or something like that. But I think like somebody is taking a vow to never do something. Someone's like, I promise you, I will never lie to you again. I'll never stab you in the back again, Pisces, and I'll never cheat on you again. I promise. All right, so I'm, I'm, I'm kind of getting something is being put on paper or someone is taking an oath towards you or a vow. Or this is you. I vow to never do this or something like that. I'm also getting to you vow, you vow to never have a child out of wedlock ever again or you, you're never going to do that okay let, let's see yeah we have the two of pentacles we have the title card definitely a marriage here i'm getting somebody deciding how to propose or someone's deciding who to invite i'm getting marriage invitations yeah we have the world card interesting okay we have the two of wands we have the nine of pentacles and we have the, the Queen of Pentacles, okay? So I'm also getting to somebody is cutting ties with their mother in order to be with you or somebody is cutting ties with their family in order to be with you. Yeah, I'm getting an on-again, off-again relationship is back on again. I'm getting it's you and them against the world type energy because somebody's family does not like you or someone's family, somebody knows that they're going to be excommunicated from their family if, they, if they're with you, if they talk to you, if... You become their spouse. If you have their children, they're not going to have much family support. What's the Hierophant Two of Pentacles? Yeah, I'm getting so I'm getting a conversation about marriage, a conversation about commitment, a conversation about what is and what is not to be tolerated. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, we have the Knight of Cups. Yeah, somebody is really there's a discussion here about marriage, about children, about you being a spouse. Okay, I'm getting a contract here, though. This could be reality TV. I'm getting a lot of monies involved. This could be uh, the real housewives or married to medicine. Somebody could be offering you a job. Like, look, we want to pay you to be on TV. I don't know where this is coming from. It's almost like you're being paid to be somebody's spouse or you have a really cushy job that pays very well. Somebody could be offering you this. Yeah, we have the Page of Wands. Yeah, I'm getting an email, an invitation, and we have the Six of Pentacles. Okay. 
on a side note, I'm getting that I'm getting you're being you're being reimbursed, you're being you're being patronized. I'm getting several payments adding up to a thousand dollars, or uh, just one big one huge payout. I'm getting a check, definitely. I'm getting a check or a money order is go, is coming to you, or this is you're giving this to somebody else to pay for something. All right, what's this combination? Ooh, excuse me, what's this combination here in the middle? Yeah, definitely getting a marriage. Yeah, we have the justice card. Someone is asking you to marry them or um, somebody's asking you how you feel about marriage. What do you think about marriage? You know, what are your thoughts about marriage? Or this could be, I'm getting you're discussing this with your family. The five of pentacles. Yeah, I'm, I'm also getting to, there's someone in your family saying, okay, not, none of my kids are married or nobody in my family is married or, you know, we're all single. When are you guys going to get married? So this could be your mom asking you, when are you going to get married? When are you going to have babies? And so so this could be like your mother or you, maybe you're asking your children, like, when are you guys going to get married? When are you guys going to have children? Um, I'm also getting two Piscean. You are the first one in your family to get married or maybe your child is the first one in in the family to get married. Or you're the first one to have a large wedding. Yeah, we have the four of swords. Interesting. I'm also getting two. A wedding is being called off. I'm getting like somebody's approaching you or you are approaching your family like look the wedding is off I can't marry this person. I just do not love them or I don't know I feel like your family is going to be disappointed because of what you're calling a wedding off or but, I, but I'm getting you're just not you're not in love or It's just not working or something like that Because I, I kind of feel like somebody's trying to someone is trying to convince you to stay It could be your mother-in-law your father-in-law your cousins they want you to stay, but you're like, no, it's just not working. I can't do this anymore. Yeah, we have the nine of cups. There you are. We have the devil. Yeah, somebody, it's because somebody's a drunk. Someone's an alcoholic. They won't stop drinking or somebody won't stop cheating. Somebody won't, somebody just won't let go of their bad habits. Someone does not want to be married anymore. I mean, like somebody is not, somebody's needs are not being met in a marriage. They're not getting what they want out of it. It's just not fair. All right, someone just doesn't want to be married anymore. Someone's like, look, I'm tired of being married here. I'm getting like somebody's not putting any more effort, any more energy, any more effort, energy into this marriage at all, into this union. Yeah, because somebody's married to somebody with a problem. Getting like somebody's a drunk or someone's a cheater or someone's a liar. What is the nine of cups and the devil card? But I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Could be an El Capitan that always has something to say about your relationship, your marriage, your union. Um, something. I, I'm getting it. I'm getting it's your family. Yeah, we have the Seven of Cups. So somebody could be causing confusion or causing trouble problems with your marriage. I'm getting somebody could be using black magic to cause confusion. Because I'm getting an El Capitan is significant here. This could be the person that you're married to, or this could be someone in your family. What's this combination? Yeah, we have the Queen of Swords and we have the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting you're gonna have to cut family ties. I'm getting especially with an El Capitan because somebody is just a downer. All right. I'm getting someone does not respect your relationship or someone does not respect your marriage or someone does not respect marriage at all. I'm getting to someone in your family is a home wrecker, like they're very flirtatious or they just cause like somebody is like just causes a bunch of drama and shit. All right, what's this combination? Yeah, I'm getting you don't want your child around your family or you don't want your you don't you don't want your child around a certain person because of their bad habits or because I'm getting like somebody too is like very sexual sexually inclined, sexually motivated. Somebody talks about sex a lot. Or like somebody's a sexual deviant or a pedophile. 
So you may feel like somebody in your family is a pedophile, like you don't want this person around your kid. Or you don't want your you don't want your grandchild around this person or something like that. What's this combination? Yeah, we have the temperance and we have the chariot and we have the page of the page of cups. Yeah, I'm getting there's I'm getting there's two children here that you're not speaking to or that someone does not want to bring these children around you for some for, for some reason or another. What's this combination? Yeah, I feel like somebody feels like you have a nasty mouth or you you have a lot of, you have inappropriate conversation. They don't want to someone just doesn't want to yeah, I'm getting like somebody feels like you have a nasty mouth or you have inappropriate conversation or that you're jealous, you're malicious. Somebody, somebody is an instigator or a, shit, or a shit starter, just period. Somebody always instigates an argument or a fight. Now, this could be someone in your family. And I'm getting an El Capitan or a Torin, Geminian, but I'm getting family members here. I'm getting a dysfunctional family, like... I'm getting like... I'm getting family members are jealous of other family members, like... Families, families at odds with family, or like somebody is jealous of somebody is jealous of somebody's marriage here, or relationship, or someone's child. But I'm, I'm getting a lot of hate amongst family. Like your family hates each other, or they're very uh, jealous or envious of one another. But I'm, I'm getting your, you are cutting family ties because of jealousy or betrayal. Somebody stabbed you in the back. What's the five of swords? Yeah, the six of wands. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting somebody jealous, jealous here because you're popular. You're in the public eye or this is, or somebody in your family is famous in the public eye scene. Okay. Somebody's recognized world renowned, very popular. And I'm getting... There's envy. There's envy behind that. I'm also getting too. Somebody. Somebody here has a child that's very gifted, and that child could be in the public eye, or that child is very popular, or that child is very known. I'm getting like someone is jealous of their child here, or, or someone is jealous of their grandchild, or someone is jealous of somebody in their family. So this could be sibling rivalry. But I'm getting like your family is very envious of you because you're popular, or because you're very successful. Yeah, we have the, the Queen of Cups. I'm getting to somebody feels like you're a goody two-shoes or something like that. Or like you have this perfect life or you have this perfect family, this perfect marriage, this perfect child. You have perfect behavior, perfect grades. You're just perfect. Someone's like, I fucking, yeah, someone's, I feel like someone's really pissed. Somebody feels like you're a fucking perfect spoiled brat. You get all the attention. You're a fucking goody two shoes. Like you know, I'm getting it's family members. Okay, all right. Let's 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 pull an oracle card. But I'm getting like somebody with the empress card. Yeah, somebody is very popular, very beautiful, sexy, desirable, very well dressed. I'm getting to like people, people serve you, people give you things. I'm getting when you come around, like people seem to cater to you or people seem to accommodate you or just people seem to serve you. And I'm getting other people in your family, they, they hate that shit. They hate when you come around because you get all the attention and people are so happy to see you and you're always dressed well and you're always talking about how successful you are and you're pretty and people just hate that shit. I'm getting your family hates hates it or just your friends or whatever okay yeah we have certainty yeah i'm getting to you're very intelligent very well spoken eloquent um artistic or whatever yeah we have smoke and prayers i'm kind of getting like somebody's wishing bad on you pisces and i'm getting it's your family but i'm getting it's okay we have dousing rods we have seeker yeah, whatever you're seeking is also seeking you, but I'm getting you found your calling, you found your niche. I'm getting you're successful, you're doing very well at it. I'm getting you're beautiful, you're glowing, you could be pregnant. But I'm getting you, I'm getting your family is very envious of you, like a lot of hatred towards you. 
Even when you are amongst them, I'm getting there's hatred. Because of the way that you carry yourself or because you're very popular. Or you just, you steal the attention. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. Don't forget to like the video, leave your comments and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.